Hello everyone, I'm going to install ODK Central on AWS. You can do it on any Ubuntu computer even if you have a computer with the Ubuntu operating system. However, for today's demonstration, I'm going to show you how to do that on AWS. You can either create an instance on EC2 or Lightcell. Uh, I would prefer Lightcell for this demonstration. So let's get started by creating an instance. So I, you, you can change your uh, location, but uh, I'm going to stick to the default one, Virginia, US East one. We need to make sure that we are installing only OS. So, and we are going to pick Ubuntu 20.04 for today's demonstration. You can select a package. I would prefer the second one. So it's 1 GB of RAM. You can choose 5 to MD. But uh, I would say for uh, to use on your project, definitely you should uh, pick the second one. That's uh, for better performance. You can give any name. In my case, I'm just using OTK Central. Demo. Since it's just for demo purpose and it create instance. It will take some time for this instance to get ready. And while we are waiting for that, let's do some work. Let's go to networking uh, tab. You need to create static IP address. So you can do that by click on create static IP address, give a name, and attach the instance. Since I already have a static IP, I am going to click on the name of the static IP and still it is not appearing since okay, it has appeared already. So it looks like the instance is ready. I'm going to pick the instance name and attach. So at this point, what you need to do this is very important. You need to create a record where your domain is registered. Uh, in my case, I have uh, my domain is in uh, GoDaddy. So in the DNS record, you have to create a record, a record with this IP address. So simple as that. Now let's go back to the instance. And now we can connect with this instance using PuTTY or you can use the built-in SSH terminal. Uh, uh, I prefer the SSH terminal that is built in with it. So let's get started. Okay, great. Looks like it is ready. And first of all, we need to ensure update the package repository. We simply need to run a command sudo at update so it can take some time to update all the uh, packages and now we are going to install some prerequisite packages the app packet package managers request few prerequisite packages to you know, on the system to use those packages uh, over HTTPS. So we need to run a command to do that. To, I'm just, uh, just reconnected. Okay, it will take some time to install. Okay, looks like this is done. At this point, we are going to add GPG key, which verifies the authenticity of the package. To do that, simply run this code. Okay, the output should be okay. And 
then this is time to add Docker repository and to do that by running this line of code. Once that that's done, uh, we need to specify the installation source by running this code. Okay, that's done. And now it's time to install Docker. So we need to run this line of code to install Docker. Okay. So one thing I need to um, remind you, do not forget the sudo in front of any line of commands because uh, without sudo, uh, the system considers as you are a non-admin user. So uh, it will be rejected. Okay, so run the command and wait for a while. It may take some time to install. I cannot see any error. However, if you would like to check the Docker status, simply run this code double check okay okay it looks like it's active and running to come out of this window just type q on your keyboard now we are done installing docker and this is time to install docker compose so let's run this line of command oops to ensure everything is updated the back end and now let's install Carl so to do that let's run Okay, right, okay, let's down the docker compose package and to do that, let's run this command. Right, this is done. Okay, now let's make the downloaded uh, file executable by uh, changing the file permission. So let's do that by running this command. Now let's check the docker compose version by typing version. Right. Okay, the version is 1.229.2. So this is all we need. Now we need to ensure that Docker starts up whenever the server starts. So to do that, let's run this command. Okay. So before we can proceed, we need to make some changes to the server. To do that, um, we need to make some modification to the system firewall so that in get the feature works. Uh, without any problem. Okay, to do that, let's uh, disable the firewall by running this command. Okay, looks like it's uh, stopped and disabled. And now let's start with central. So let's run this command. Let's start setting up uh, to clone the um, a central package from the repository, git repository. Okay. Okay, looks like done. And now we need to uh, change directory to um, do the setup in the central folder. So to do that, cd central. Okay, so now we are in the central folder. Okay, now we need to get the uh, missing components of the server software by running this command. Okay. 
it's perfectly done so now we need to update some, set, some settings before doing that we need to copy the template so that you can uh, change the settings so to do that just okay now let's ed edit the file right so now we need to add our domain name so in a place of your domain.com I'm going to add my domain but you need to type your domain name in a place uh, by replacing your your.domain.com and you need to change the mail address um, you need to type your email address so I'm going to add my email address Oops. right and keep everything as it is and then just press Control and X key and then to save the changes just press shift Y and enter that's it we are done now we'll bundle everything together in a server so to do that let's run this command so this will take some time so I'm giving a pause and we'll come back once this is done. Okay, so if you see this message successfully built, that means you have done installation of ODK Central successfully. So now you need to run this code to tell Docker to create all containers required by ODK Central without starting this container. So let's hit enter to take some time. Okay, so now it's time to start Docker. So do that by running this command. Perfect. So now let's create user to log in to the central. Um, use your email address instead. I used my email address. And now you need to give a password. So you are just creating a password for login. Okay, perfect. So now you just created user and this is time you need to upgrade your privilege. So uh, you definitely need to log in as um, administrator to um, manage all the forms and everything. To do that, uh just run this command to upgrade your privilege and that's it it's done so now it's time to log in let's see okay it may take some time because the scripts are running at the back end so it may take some time probably wait for five minutes or so Uh, the Udika Central now loaded to my browser. Let me try to log in. Yeah, 
there you go okay thank you very much for watching uh, keep watching for other videos i will cover some other things like form development and how to integrate odk central with other uh, platforms for example power bi to create your dashboard thank you very much